Tell Me a Story, brought to you by COVID Recovery Iowa. Flash, Crash, Rumble, and Roll by Franklin M. Branley and illustrated by True Kelly. The day is quiet, the air is still and hot. Leaves do not move, flowers droop. Even the birds are still and quiet. There are big white clouds in the sky. They grow bigger and taller. They get darker and darker. Look at those black thunder clouds, people say. We're going to have a thunderstorm. Warm air near the earth is rising into the clouds. The air goes up fast. Inside the clouds, it keeps moving upward. It may go all the way to the top and spill over. The clouds keep growing. After a while, the clouds may be 10 miles high. The rising air carries water, but it's not liquid. It is a gas called water vapor. When water vapor cools, it becomes liquid water. That's what happens in the clouds to make them grow. Water vapor cools and changes into small drops of water and also into small crystals of ice. Colder air. Very cold. Warming. Very cold. Warming. Air inside the cloud carries the water and ice up and up. The air gets colder. When it gets very cold, the air falls. So the air inside some parts of a cloud is moving up very fast. In other parts, it is moving down. Planes stay out of these dark thunder clouds. The rushing air could turn a plane upside down. It could even rip off the wings. Also, there's electricity in the clouds. Each water droplet and ice crystal carries a tiny bit of electricity. There are billions and billions of droplets and crystals, so the amount of electricity gets greater and greater. When the amount is very great, the electricity jumps from the top of the cloud to the very bottom. It makes a giant spark, a flash of lightning. Meanwhile, the rain starts, first only a drop or two, then the wind blows and the rain falls faster and harder. Water races down the street. There's more lightning. It may go from one cloud to another, or it may reach a high building or a tree. The streak of lightning may be a mile long or even longer. Thunder comes after the lightning. The lightning is very hot. It heats the air. The hot air expands very fast. It makes sound waves all along the streak of lightning. The sound waves reach you at different times. When the first one reaches your ears, there may be a loud crash. As more and more sound waves reach you, the thunder rumbles and rolls. Roll, roll, rumble, rumble, crash. You make sound waves when you break a balloon. Blow one up and pop it. The air in the balloon expanded rapidly through the break in the skin. You made a tiny bit of thunder. There's only a little air in the balloon, so there's not much noise. Lightning moves lots more air, billions of times more. So there is lots of sound. Sound waves travel slowly, much more slowly than the light from the lightning. Light travels so fast it can go to the moon in less than two seconds. It would take two weeks for sound to go that far. Because light goes so fast, you see lightning the moment it flashes. But it may take several seconds for the thunder to reach you. It takes five seconds for the sound to travel one mile. 
The next time you see lightning, try this. Count the seconds until you hear the thunder. If five seconds go by, the storm is one mile away. If ten seconds pass, the storm is two miles away. If only a second passes, the storm is very close. If you see a flash and you don't hear thunder at all, the storm may be 15 miles or more away. The thunder will be very loud. It may be scary, but thunder won't hurt you. Lightning is different. Lightning may start fires in houses or barns. It may start forest fires. Lightning may knock over trees and telephone poles. It may kill cows and horses in a field. It may injure people or kill them. You won't be hurt by lightning if you know what to do. If you are swimming, get out of the water. If you are outside, go inside. If you are inside when a storm is close, stay away from the telephone and the TV. Their wires could carry lightning into the house. Stay away from the stove and other big metal things. Stay away from sinks, the bathtub, and the shower. Their pipes could also carry lightning into the house. If you are caught outdoors, keep away from a metal fence or metal pipes. They could carry electricity. Don't stand under a tree that is alone in a field. Lightning usually strikes the highest thing. It might strike the tree. So, if you're in a big field, don't be the highest thing around. Crouch down with your knees on the ground and bend your head forward. If you are in a car, stay there. A car is safe. Because if lightning hits it, the electricity goes through the car and not through you. Watch the storm from a safe place. Before it begins, watch the clouds. You'll see them get bigger and bigger, taller and taller, darker and darker. You'll see flashes of lightning. If the storm is far away, you'll hear thunder rumble and roll. If it's close by, the thunder will crackle and crash. People used to think that lightning was the fiery fingers of an angry god. They thought the god made thunder when he scolded and roared. They feared storms as they feared their gods. But there's no reason for us to fear storms. We know what makes thunder and lightning, and we know how to keep safe. The end.